this is the news. Ah, yes, indeed. The news. We're in November now, into November. Guy Fawkes night has passed. Much to uh, much to Willow's disgust. She did not enjoy the fireworks. But people made an effort. It was nice actually. I did take her out on the fifth. I don't know if that's the wisest thing to have done, but we went right out into the countryside, away from the populous areas. And um, it was really beautiful actually. The moon was out and it was a lovely red moon. Fireworks were kind of going off on the horizon all around. It's really beautiful. Really nice to see. Woo, go America. Uh, that's very important. Some very important things have happened there, over there. And it looks like one dangerous out of touch old man is uh, is taking over from the previous dangerous out of touch old man. So I could have probably written that headline before it happened. Out of touch old man runs country or does he or does he run the country that's the question we're all asking ourselves who who runs the things who is it who runs all the things now if you watch bit shoot if you look in the comments in bit shoot doesn't matter what video about it could be about knitting could be about anything really anything at all but you'll note from the comments when you look in the comments it's all the jews isn't it it's all the jews They've done it all. Terrible, terrible Jews that they are going around deliberately massacring themselves in very high numbers under a systematic regime of oppression that occurred over a long period of time. <whistles> Will I? Yeah? Good girl. Took a couple of minutes. Might even edit that out. Let's, let's say I did edit that out. Where was I? I was going on, wasn't I? Maybe I should just start this whole thing again. Uh, I won't, I won't, I'll keep going. For the for the sake of the the news. So what news is here? Yeah, there's some stuff going on in America. A bit boring really. Uh, old man in charge. Old man in charge. Who might not be in charge at all. Another amazing thing has happened. It, it's never going to happen again in our lifetimes. It's funny that, though, isn't it? Lots of things are pretty unique to existence and they'll never happen again in our lifetimes. Uh, everything has never been more important. You know, all the things that were important yesterday, that were very important yesterday, I might to add. Might like to add. Nip it to bit hard. To bit up. No, no. I could actually do that. <laughs> Probably be more valuable than me trying to trying to be coherent. I could just walk around going. She's a happy dog. That's really what it's all about, isn't it? Happiness. to live together happily. Hmm. If only there was a way. If only, uh, if only there were a natural way to kind of balance these equations. All of these tricky questions that we have about our existence. If only, if only nature could find a way of dealing with these things. And what is natural law? So I guess natural law, well, there's lots of different types of law, isn't there? There's, so there's, there's statute, statutory law. So laws that have been passed by some kind of congressional body, some kind of group of people have got together and they've debated the whys and the wherefores of something. And then it gets written down on a piece of paper. Somebody important signs their name on it. 
and then and then it becomes law and then there's common law so common law is well it's a bit more difficult common law it's not necessarily written down it does get written down but it's not because of the limitations of statute statute can it can provide a framework for something to happen but common law is ten, tends to be how how that statute and other previous legal precedents um, how they're enacted really how that should be interpreted so common law is very important common law is actually probably more important than statute because it's the practical interpretation of how this thing is going to go this going to work how are we going to do this you know how, what would be considered to be fair by a court by a court so there's there's a legal framework there but both of these types of law are they're, well they're man-made they're man's law they are and if you go from country to country there are different laws so they're not they're nothing like I suppose the laws that Moses took down from the from the um, from the mountain he brought down Ten Commandments he brought down more than ten but we know famously there were ten of them and they're all things like don't kill don't steal don't go around wishing you had what your neighbours got. Uh, Honour your mother and father. There's some more. <laughs> They're all quite important, apparently. Basic morality. Natural law might be, m might be them things what Moses brought down from the tip mountain you could say it were, it were that you could say that were natural law couldn't you because that's what God said but I suppose there's, there's a difficulty isn't there because there's because there's like a a filter there's a layer between he's got to tap away on the tablet Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not covet the neighbour's ox. Uh, did he tap away? He might have just got the stones like that. If they, if he got the stones already pre-tapped, there's an argument to say that's natural law, isn't there? Although I would say all of those things should be fairly self-evident, right? Because it comes down to what our old mate Jesus said when somebody said about all the all the laws and that they said what are all the laws Jesus and Jesus said the laws oh the laws he said oh the oh what the laws all the Moses stuff and that oh yeah yeah they're all important but he said there's only really one that you need to, well, two, I suppose. But he called it the golden rule. I don't think he called it. I think, uh, again, written down in a Bible by men who are fallible and only have words to, uh, to relay these concepts, these ideas, these feelings and emotions. Just words. Will words suffice to be able to convey these important messages but he said the golden rule is do unto others as you would have them do unto you and I think there there we start to get into the realms of of a natural law okay so it's okay it's not okay for you to violate the same principles that you would live by so if you think it would be fair enough for somebody to kill me for absolutely no reason or to come up to me and end my life um, 
then that's fine you can go around and do the same to other people but like with the expectation that it's going to happen to you one day uh, and same with any of the, any of the others really so I suppose you could say that's natural law couldn't you you're starting to we're starting to get into the beginning of the realms of what natural law is and what is natural I'm still not in all of this chantering I've done them walked a mile now we've walked a mile and I've chanted man I've chanted I've talked a lot I've gone tap 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 talked about the laws and all the different types of the laws all the laws there's lots of laws all of the laws talked about all of them I still I still haven't given you a definition 20 minutes almost of talking incessantly I've still not talked about anything of any real uh, purpose you're none the wiser you for sitting through this you don't you know less probably less i've probably taken something away from you apart from just your time <laughs> i've probably managed to make you stupider no moss no social distancing <laughs> my phone the grass has hung on me i'm like yeah hello hello Yes, I was out on a walk by myself, talking to myself. That's what you've made me do. You've driven me to just talking to myself. Talking nuts, never getting to a point. And I fear they were enjoying themselves. Going around spreading their virus of joy. Yeah, I might do that later. So, well, oh, we are going to get there, I promise you. But it's a long walk, so let's take our time. It's a long walk today. We can't go the other way, because the farmer's put some electric fence around the field. He just puts sheep in the field. And Willow doesn't cope well with sheep. Well, she's too, not too bad with sheep, I suppose. Um, but she's not very good at being electrocuted, to be fair. She had a good scream when she got electrocuted by that electric fence. A good yelpy, yelpy scream. And I thought, my goodness, she has been attacked by a badger. That can be the only thing that would make that dog scream quite like that. But no, I was wrong. She'd been electrocuted by a farmer who hates dogs. Come on, he probably doesn't hate dogs. He's got a dog actually. So I don't think he does hate them. Just think he doesn't like local people and their dogs, which is different. Come here, come here. So natural law is law that doesn't need to be written down. It's self-evident. All it takes is for people to observe it. And once they've observed it, to take note of it. And I guess the old the golden rule yeah the what Jesus said do unto others as you would have done unto you because he was a Yorkshireman um, that's natural law that is pretty much all the law you need to know it should be simple as well shouldn't it that's the other thing about like natural law so and, and like a lot an oft cited uh, version of natural law is the law of gravity okay so Newton come up with the theory come up with the concept maybe he didn't come up with the concept but he certainly came up with the theory and uh, woohoo everyone loves it everyone's like yeah I can I can dig the gravity that's a good call that's a sound argument what you've made there and it's been slightly disproved and amended or altered and all, you know other things have come along no, he's a, probably a good man he was probably a good moral man although you do hear rumours don't you there's a dead deer oh dear there's a dead deer there he didn't discover anything really did he, he didn't discover gravity oh look there's, there's gravity oh suddenly there's gravity everywhere he didn't do that he just kind of came up with a name 
for a thing that was already there and then he wrote it all down and then when he wrote it all down it had to be changed a bit because it wasn't all quite right so natural law being that thing what is there all the time within this dimension that we collectively share together that can't quite can't quite get on can't quite agree on the best way to do it all what's the best way for us all to to deal with the challenges that life throws up at us just talking shit basically just yammering on I want to talk about something oh, I'm too busy oh my mind this is, I tell you what, when they finally come to round me up, they'll get all these videos, all this raw video, and they'll go, can you, exp can you explain why you felt it was a worthwhile endeavour to walk around talking, literally talking to yourself, talking into the absolute ether, to some kind of, like, uh, just some audience that you've, doesn't even exist. There's no audience. <laughs> I'm literally talking to myself in this, like, have you got nothing better to do with your time? That's the some of the best feedback I had there. That was from my brother. He said, you've got too much time on your hands. And I think he's right. But I, here I am talking, wasting time, wasting time, talking to an imaginary audience, talking to myself effectively, even my dog, he doesn't really know about sanity is worried about my sanity I think it's nice though isn't it? it is nice it's a nice thing to do to be able to just walk along just talking like not talking about anything particular uh, uh, oh they said that that must be true then well I will do I will pass it on and I'll see how you, how you fare with it but you know take it or leave it it's, it's not forced is it no one's forced you to st through this you're doing so of your own accord you've only got yourselves to blame that's what I think anyway I think it's your own your own bloody fault for encouraging me I mean I don't want to like blow my own trumpet but my last video had like I think it's 19 views I mean admittedly probably 10 of those <laughs> are me just clicking on the link ah please like me <laughs> please like like and subscribe like and please like me I want to be liked that's, that's the only reason I'm doing this I want to be liked so bad ah oh. Man, I'm a lucky, 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 lucky bastard day, I really am. Because it's beautiful, mate. I'm just in a world of beauty, of unique beauty. Every leaf that falls on the ground is unique. It's never, there's never been one like it before. every facet of this beautiful place that we live in that we have a reciprocal relationship with where we can grow crops and we can manage animals and we can produce complex diversely complex things from just the nature that's around us it's incredible it's absolutely incredible. I'm very, very humbled to be part of it. To stand out here with with all this beauty. I'm incredibly lucky. And I think it would take more than a little bit of uh, the global temperature going up to get rid of this and people say all the climate change oh we're doing it to save the world save the planet and I always think the planet will be just fine 
You don't need to worry about the planet. The planet will be just fine. We're very lucky. I'm very lucky. I'm very, very lucky because all of this I get to be part of. This is the news.